Hello and welcome, my Belushi Blobs. It's Super John Bombo here, and of course, we've got some card battles happening. You guys see the card, you guys know what's up. And we're going to talk about this new card right here, the Monkey Bank. Whoa, man, this is a funky new card. It, it is. It really is funky. It's really interesting, really crazy. I don't know how well it's going to work for me, though. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, I have this bias. I hate Monkey Banks. I hate them with a passion. I think, honestly, I'd burn them all to the ground if I could. Just boop, boop. I'd be an arsonist if I could burn down all these monkey banks. No people would be in there. Do it at night. You know, don't worry about that. Wouldn't kill people or anything like that. But screw monkey banks. I don't like them in general. So I'm going to try and be as unbiased as possible when talking about this monkey bank. But just keep in mind that I have this. I probably won't be. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about it really quick. First of all, $8,000. This guy is pricey. When do you have $8,000 uh, just rolling around, just sitting around? Very unoften. Very, very, very unoften. You have $8,000 just laying around where you can just pop a monkey bank down. So, uh, the other thing about the monkey bank is after you put him down, it's not like, oh, well, you get an instantaneous burst of money every single round. No, you have to wait like a solid five, seven, maybe even eight rounds. Maybe all the way up to ten rounds. I don't know exactly how it works or if they changed it at all for card battles. But usually it's like eight-ish rounds to get that $5,000 out of the monkey bank. So, I mean, you're, you're waiting... Even if you build him on round 15, you're waiting till round 23 just to get $5,000. And that just, to me, is just like, no. That's just no. Just no, 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 no. Don't do it. It's bad. I might be 10000 It's like, even so. Just don't do it. it. It's probably a bad idea to, the, to, to do the monkey bank, but of course, we have to test him out. Now, also, we got to talk about this rush, though. So, as far as the monkey bank is concerned, I could see people using him. You know, if you just put all of your money into a monkey bank, um... You know, when you sell him, you're going to get you know money out of the monkey bank, and you're going to get that eight thousand like seven thousand dollars back. So you're going to get a big surplus of money whenever you need it, right? So that's the nice thing about the monkey bank. He's also making you money. So yeah, I mean he's not a negative thing, but at the same time, I just feel like there's probably better ways to get your money. Go for those lower level farms, those two thousand dollar farms. Just build a couple of those guys, you'll be way better off than this uh, monkey bank. Or even go all the way up to this bad boy, banana research facility. I know he's almost two two and a half times as expensive as expensive, but he is going to give you a bunch of money every single round, guaranteed, and you can use it, you can use that money to buy more defenses and buy more things. By the way, if you guys don't know how monkey banks even work, uh, let me explain it really quick. The way, you, the way it works is you build it, and then uh, it'll give you, it'll like put like a certain amount of money in there every single round, so it'll make bananas, it'll make, make like 150 bucks in there every single round, or like 300 bucks in there every single round or something like that. All right, and then what you do is you get interest every single round. So that three hundred dollars will like take ten percent interest, and they'll give you like twenty percent interest. They'll give you like three twenty or something. I don't know. I don't know the, the numbers, but that's kind of how it works. And then the next round they'll put another three hundred in, and then you get another like twenty percent interest, and then you know that six hundred dollars, six hundred forty dollars will turn into like seven hundred and eighty or something like that. But then by the time you get up to like four thousand dollars or something, when you're getting that twenty percent interest, because it's obviously um, compound interest, it's getting some pretty good amount of money, right? So yeah, it does get you a pretty decent amount of money. If it went up to like a, ri a ridiculous amount of money, like fifty thousand dollars or something, it would be worth it. You got, people would want to get monkey banks instead of those four twos, but they just cap it at way too low. I think it's five, and I think it's twenty, and that's just too darn low for me. I just don't see how that's even worth it. They might have changed it for card battles, but I just don't know. So anyways, monkey bank. We talked about that. Let's talk about this Moa brush. So the only Moa brush in the game. Bloom TD5, BTD battles, every single thing in existence ever that gives you money for sending a Moab. Sorry, just got so crazy about that, I just ripped my headphones off. So yeah, I mean, it's going to give you money, 20 income. Now you're spending a lot of money, $8,000 to get 20 income, so obviously it's like the worst income to spending money ratio in the history of the world, but it's still not taking money away. So that's the big problem when you're sending out a lot of these rushes, it's taking a lot of your income away. And this guy is basically just nullifying that. I mean, you're spending a lot of money, but you're not losing any income. So sending out this rush will allow you to still play the game and be okay in the later parts of the game. So that's the nice thing about this rush. But it's still four measly little baby Moabs. You, most people can defend that. Not everybody, but most people can defend that. And, uh, and I don't know what round you can send them on. So if you can send these guys on round like... 18, 17 or 18, you're going to be golden. If you have to wait all the way until 19, that's when you can send out this 10 Moab rush, and it probably won't matter all that much. And look at the difference. $2,000 for 4 Moabs versus 10 Moabs. I mean, that's a big difference right there. That's a big difference. So think about that as well. All right, so let's pop this guy in our deck, and we're going to go play a game. So, of course, I like to talk about the card before I, I, I go and play in it. Of course, I am biased, as I explained earlier. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't hate me for my, my extreme bias in the banana farm. Or the banana bank, a thing of a bop. Also, oh my God, guess what? So also, if this game, if this video is uh, slightly, 
what's that word? It's skipping. It's skipping just a little bit. Don't worry about it. I suck at life, and I totally just realized right now that I am sort of rendering a video on my game capture. I just recorded another video uh, on the mobile version, so yeah, I don't know. It might be a little bit skip-tastic, but it'll probably be done in like 20, like 10 minutes or something like that. Maybe 5 minutes. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I know it kind of sucks to have that happen, but... I already started the video. So, what? Uh, what uh, so, oh, look at this, guys. Whoa! We got a Super John Bombo mirror match. <laughs> All right. So, I'm ready to go. Uh, we got the monkey bank in our hand. We got the swamp. A nice, fun map for us. He's got a pretty similar... Um, oh, so I just noticed this, by the way. They just changed it so you don't see your win percentage anymore for your side. You see your win-loss record, which is honestly kind of nice. Um, it's, it's a step in the right direction. I think... Honestly, it's totally fine that they did that. It makes me a lot happier. If they really don't want to show somebody else your stuff, um, this, I don't know, it's good enough. It's just absolutely good enough. All right, so I did a an engineer start. What's this guy going to do? I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of what he's going to do. So we got the monkey map. We're going to have to throw the guy in the garbage. Can't use him until at least round like 15 or 20 or something like that. So this guy's not even here right now. What is he going to build? 2-2 two -two wizard or something? I don't know. It's possible. He's crying. Maybe he's getting really, really bad cards or something. So here we go. More blues coming out. And there we go. We see a cluster bomb coming out. So he's losing lots of lives, but he got the cluster bomb, and that's going to save his life for a while. But round five. We got black blues, baby! We're going to send those guys out pretty much right away. All right, round four. Um, still doing an okay job. You know, engineers... I, so, I don't know. This guy's not doing very well right now. Um, he's not sending out any balloons against me. Or maybe that's... Maybe... Little baby reds coming out. First balloons, maybe. So... I'll pop the wizard down. Group balloons. Never go wrong with some group balloon popping power. And it's black balloon time. So if this guy doesn't get some black balloon popping power, he's done. He's doomed. Dead. There we go. We see the boomerang coming up, but that might not be good enough. That might not be good enough. Oh, I think we killed him. Oh, man. I think this is going to be the end for him. Uh, the boomerang's going to miss too darn much, even with the battle energy on that guy. I don't know. He, mi he might have him on strong. I... Actually, he is surviving. All right, good for him. So we're actually, now we're struggling. Struggle, love, love, love. Put this guy on strong. Pop most of them. I'm cool with that. Get some more eco. Eco, eco, eco. We're going to throw this guy in the garbage. And we're going to get some more eco. All right. Um, so yeah, anyways. <laughs> another really, really random thing to talk about really quick. So I was, I was, uh, I was downstairs and I'm like, I, I hear a weird noise. And normally... In most situations, when I hear weird noise, I just ignore it. Like, whatever, it doesn't matter. But I was like, I feel like it's coming from the inside of my house. What, a, what is what is going on? So, um, I went by the fridge. It's kind of, it's, I went by the fridge, and I'm like, no, it's not the fridge. The fridge isn't making that noise. I walked by the pantry. I'm like, no, the pantry's not making that noise. Is it the wall? So I walked near like a wall. I'm like, no, it doesn't feel like the wall's making. I'm like, what is it in the bathroom? And did Luna do something? So I walk in like the laundry room. I'm like, no, it's not really coming from there. I was like, I couldn't figure out, I couldn't pinpoint where it was coming from. So eventually, I walked, I'm like, oh, I walked near the basement, and I was like, uh-oh, what's going on over here, dude? What is going on over here? So I ended up uh, walking, I was like, oh, yeah, it's definitely coming from the basement. So I walked down in the basement, lo and behold, water, spraying, everywhere, sprinklers, woo! Sprinklers flying all over the place, just shooting water everywhere, uh, getting all of my stuff all wet. Um, I don't have anything too important down there, just some, like, boxes and... Um, like, I have a, an air hockey table. I guess that's probably the the worst thing that I, I don't have anymore. Um, I don't know if it's destroyed, but it might be, like, warped or something. I, I don't know. So we're going to try and save up for that laser cannon, guys. That's kind of our goal right now. I don't know if I should go for the zebra rush or not. Um, I kind of want to do the monkey bank, so it's going to be more of a late-game scrap. So let's try and hold off for a little while. We'll just do a laser cannon really quick. So I'm going to sell this guy. I'm going to sell the tech. Oh, there we go. We see the uh, regrow rainbow rush coming in here. The Rigo Rainbows are not strong enough to get through a laser cannon, and we're going to destroy all the things. Hey, woo! All right, so we need some more blue deco. Um, I don't mind going up to, like, a thousand or something and then getting the monkey bank. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to just get the monkey bank right now. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I really don't know. I can't decide on how I'm supposed to use the monkey bank. $8,000. How am I going to save up for $8,000? And then actually, like, have enough defense to do things. So what is he doing? I think he just gave up. Which, this is the saddest thing in the entire world. All right, Super John Bombo, you're not you're not showing up. You're not doing very well. That was very sad. I, I don't like that. Uh, so I'm definitely not gonna rematch this guy. I don't know. I appreciate that you are probably a fan, but 
go out with some, some pride. I don't know, maybe he just thought he was really, really going to lose. But, I mean, it wasn't over yet, so we, did we just play this guy? I think we just played this guy a little while ago. Colton. Colton Doron. Oh, Doron. So we got the Swamp again. Swamp seems to be a very popular map for me. Play it a lot. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. All right, so let's pop in... Let's do an intense magic to start off our game. Do it like that. Get uh, triple darts, and then I think I'm gonna have to throw out some cards here to get some decent eco stuff. I'm just not getting a lot of good eco stuff right now, so I'm gonna throw. Um, I guess I'll throw this guy out. I usually can get him, uh, uh, you know, back up in time for any reasonable things. So here we go. We're, finally, we get a decent card over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw out. I don't know. I really don't want to throw out the laser can. I'll wait. I'll wait. It's okay. I'll just wait a little bit. Round three, boom, blue balloons, blue balloons, blue balloons, go hardcore. Oh no, this is bad. This is real bad, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh, big spaghettios. We're gonna have to use a triple darts. We're gonna put this guy on. We're gonna have to battle energy him and just put him on first and just hope for the best for a little while. Now I can move him back to strong. Uh, that was a nice play by him, sending out those pinks right away on round four. Or three, was it? Uh, but he's struggling as well. He had a lot of blue balloons going through there, and he might be hurting even more than us. <gasps> yes, indeedy. So the blue balloon rush got us more economy and was able to hurt him even more than we got hurt. So that is awesome. Oof. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, Sprinkler is going on in my basement, spraying everything all over the place, and I'm just like, oh my god, what the heck is this? This sucks. Well, you know, my computer just broke yesterday, and now I have my water heater just exploding hot water everywhere. It's hot boiling water, by the way. 150 degrees just pouring out of there. All right, so we're actually struggling quite a bit against these blacks. We're gonna go like this. I'm gonna leave this one, this one on first. This one on strong. Good combo, right? Anyways, we're actually hurting this guy quite a bit with our weird rushes, the blacks and the mixtures of everything. He's down to 40 something, like 30 something lives. So a, I actually don't want to kill him though. That's the sad thing. I, I, I actually want to try to get the freaking monkey bank over here. That's my main goal. Give me the monkey bank. I want to test him out. Um, even if I lose in the process of testing the monkey bank out. So what the... What are, what are people doing? Oh, finally. Okay, two, three, four, one. All right. I was afraid that he was going to give up as well. Oh, here we go. Some yellow balloons coming out against us. Ooh, fancy. Fancy! So here's some blacks. We'll go some yellows. We'll just throw them all out there, dude. Just whatever whatever we got. And uh, um, kind of just save up for a laser cannon. You know, we got, five, we got 500. Let's do one more set of blacks. Set of blues, maybe one more set of pinks, and then save up for the laser. Laser time. Perfect time, too. We got a lot of blacks and pinks on there. It's not going to hurt them or anything, but hey, if it, if it does something, awesome. All right. Um. So, yeah, anyways, water pouring out, steaming hot water. It, it wasn't just like, oh, it's dripping a little bit. It bur The pipe bursted. It exploded and was shooting out water. Uh, pretty much throughout the entire basement. My ba my entire basement is basically flooded right now. So of course I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do? So I, I didn't freak out too much. I think like if if I was if stupid, I would have just like fr freaked out and been like, I need a plumber right now, and I would have like start searching plumbers and blah 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 blah. No, that's not exactly what happened. So we go round twelve. We gotta be a little careful on this level. It can be dangerous. Um, twelve thirteen can can very very quickly turn on you. So I'm actually gonna sell one of these guys. Um, get ready for my laser cannon. He's got, like, a pretty bad defense, though. But again, I don't want to rush him. That's, that's like, not what I want to do. So I'm going to throw these guys in the garbage. I'm going to throw this guy in the garbage. I'm going to send out triple darts. <laughs> I'm going to send out my blue rush. I'm losing a few lives, but honestly, I don't even mind. I'm just like, whatever, dude. I'm going to get, I'm getting eco out of this. Uh, blues, and I think it's about that time. Let's get a laser cannon. All right, let's do it. Let's do one more set of blacks. And laser cannon. So that's 700 eco, by the way. That's pretty good. So I think what we might do is just because I want to get the monkey bank in a reasonable amount of time, I just I'm just going to start saving up now. If I don't start saving up right now, even though I honestly think that I can get more uh, eco by just spending all of my money on these cards, if I don't start saving up now, by the time I get the monkey bank, it's gonna be around like 25, and then like what's the point of the monkey bank at that point? It's just it, worthless. Absolutely worthless. So, uh, yeah, of course, I was reasonably smart, and I'm like, all right, let's shut off the water, <laughs> shut off the water, and um, it's dripping a little bit, It's the basement's a little bit wet, I don't have, like, carpet or anything down there, it's just concrete, and so I don't really care all that much, but it, like, it's like the entire basement just has, like, a coating of water all over it. I actually updated my Twitter with my, uh, 
uh, exploded water pipe. So yeah, I, I emailed the people who own the house because I'm renting my house, by the way. So I didn't, I can't really call a plumber or else they get mad at me. So uh, I just, I'm just waiting to to hear from them. I guess I tried to call them, they didn't answer. Um, it was actually their sh phone was basically shut off. Like the first ring, I was like, we're not available. <laughs> Stupid Nora. That's her name. Is Nick Nora never answers my calls in a reasonable amount of time. So here we go, monkey bird John. Let's see how this guy's going to work. So, um, he's... Alright, this is this is pretty interesting. So he's getting a lot of money very quickly. It's time-based. Alright, so this this is cool. This is this is cool. I like this. Let's see how this is going to work. This is time-based instead of round-based. That's not something that I'm, I'm used to at all. Totally different from regular BTD5. Then at the end of round 19, what's going to happen? So we got... Some money, we got some extra money. I think it was 10%. It was like 800, yeah, it was like 80 bucks. I think it was 10% of whatever our money was. I'm actually pretty reasonably happy with the monkey bank right now. I'm very surprised. Again, they did, they changed it. So I'm used to having something be, uh, the monkey bank just be bad. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited. It already made us 1,500 bucks. It's, it didn't pay for itself or anything like that. But, um... Again, every round is going to give us a bunch of extra money. So if you can get this guy early on, oh, bam, frickin' Zam, dude. You're going to be rolling in the dough. Rolling in the dough. So I'm going to get a cluster bomb. Good for group pop power. There we go. Almost losing lives to stuff. Oh, God, we are losing lives to stuff. Yeah. I need more, like, regular popping power. That does not require my direct attention all over the place. So here we go. We're going to build this guy. I'm going to get my camo lead popping power. I'm kind of afraid of a big rush right now. I mean, any, any kind of rush could come sent out, get this guy sent out, the red sent out, just send them all, man, um, build some more crippled art, just building out, I'm, honestly, I'm just trying to get some, like, reasonable stuff over here, now, here we go, this is, this is kind of interesting, no rushes yet, from either one of us, and we get another monkey bank, so I'm gonna try and get a second monkey bank over here, now, keep in mind, I don't have Zoma Gods, so the best rush that I can do is, like, these three guys combined together into some weird combo rush, so... Uh, that, that's my main goal. So here we go. What is it stuck at? 4,800. Is it five grand? Does it top out at five grand? Because right now I'm getting 480 bucks around. Let's see. Four, five, nine. It is 5,000. You're going to collect the balance, and it's going to start getting money again. So it looks like it's 15 seconds, 15 dollars per second, I think. One, two, three. 15 dollars, more than 15 dollars per second. It looks like it's, uh, updating more than more than every one second. So anyways, here's a second monkey bank right now. So this is just interesting. Now, my next question is, is when you sell it. So if you're very, if you need to do something, oh, I think he's gonna rush me. I think he's gonna get ready to rush me. I have a feeling he just gave me the thumbs up. Usually that's like, I'm gonna rush you. <laughs> that's the, I'm gonna rush you thumbs up. Or maybe he just sees the monkey banks and he's kind of uh, wondering what's, what's gonna happen with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a rush, guys. I don't know if he has, like, the ground zero or something. I hope he doesn't, but if he does, I'm basically screwed. So we're going to go for it. Um, we're going to go for this really, really nice... I need 70, I need 1750. All right. So let's throw all these guys in the garbage. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. There's a lot of... A lot of cards. Man, there's a lot of blues. I'm struggling. I'm going to get a second laser cannon before I do that. So I don't lose the game. So he's got a Robo Plasma, but I don't. I still don't think that's gonna be enough, guys. Um, so it seems like we get about we get five thousand dollars every like minute and a half or something like that. It'd be very nice for me to time that out, and figure out how long it takes. Cause it's gonna depend a little bit on on how many rounds are going on and stuff like that. But here we go, guys. We're gonna do the three BFB rush. We're gonna do the. We're gonna. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, come on, come on. Collect the balance. Set up these ten Boebs. Um. Oh god. We're defending all this stuff with our laser cannons. And there's the ten bobs on top of that stuff. Will he be able to defend? Woo! So our eco is still decent, but he I don't know, man. If if this doesn't kill him, we're gonna be struggling quite a bit. So there's the battle urge. He's gone. Will the Roboplasma take him down? 17 lives. Come on, 13 1, and we do take him down with the BFB Boab combo rush. Yes, baby! So, what's the deal with the banana bank? What's my grade? I'll give him an A. I will I I Whoa. That just happened, guys. I just gave the Monkey Bank an A. I didn't give him an A+, plus, but I gave him an A. He is a decent card. He's a fun card. He's an interesting card to use, and I highly recommend you guys at least try him out. Because I think a lot of people are just going to say, 
he's a monkey bank. He's not going to be good. But when you're getting money every, like, second, that's not bad at all. I like it a lot. So that's what I'm going to have you guys today. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remedy the, the giant water pipe breakage in my, my basement right now. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, otherwise, I might drown in my sleep in the basement down there. Maybe the water will just seep up and uh, kill me. Hopefully not. Thanks so much for watching. Have a super duper delicious day.